High five. The fighter turned commentator may have been busy with his booth duties, but somebody was wrong on the internet. Imagine you're Michael Bisping. You're back behind the commentary booth for UFC Vegas 20, Gain vs. Rosenstruik. It's the five-year anniversary of your big win over Anderson Silva in England. Everyone is finally starting to see the fight in a different light. They're complimenting you for managing to survive a massive knee thrown by Silva in the third that seemed to finish the fight but didn't, you know, just Irv Dean things, and going on to win the fight via decision. You're loose and laughing and having fun in the booth during the broadcast. Everybody loves you. Life is good. Hey look, you're even trending on Twitter. Bisping, is trending on Twitter. Let's take a quick look between rounds. And this tweet is literally the first thing that pops up for anyone investigating the trend, a little bit of cheeky revisionism poking fun at the non-finish, right? Wrong. Whoever made this post needs to be told. And thus, did not knock me out dips asterisk asterisk t, Bisping replied on Twitter at 9.27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, since deleted. Knocked me down at the end of the round. Please dummy, how was I talking to Irv Dean if I was unconscious? Epic fail f asterisk asterisk k face. Yes, Michael Bisping took the time to tweet this out in the middle of the fights he was commentating, which is some impressive multitasking in our books. In general, we just want to say how impressive it is for Michael Bisping to have become such a fan favorite in the commentary booth considering his role as an absolute villain for the majority of his career. This is a busy time in Bisping's life. Not only was it the five-year anniversary of his win over Anderson Silva, it was the ten-year anniversary of his win over Jorge Rivera, a fight that cemented him as one of the biggest jerks in the organization at the time. A bit of a joke in there since something definitely did happen. So ten years later, we have to congratulate him on the turnaround. Even though his inner troll is obviously still there inside of him, he's a damn good commentator. If you'd told UFC fans back in 2011 that they'd have to listen to, the count talking for 5 plus hours every other broadcast, we think they'd be shocked. But here we are, enjoying it and all the sass that goes along with it on TV. And on Twitter. Punch the like button and kick the subscription bell.